Most YouTube channels have a meaning behind their channel name. Mine is Pensy Fan 19. This means that I am a fan of the Pennsylvania Railroad, or always known as the Pensy, the 19 representing the year 2019. Even though I also respect other railroads, including the Pensy's main rival, the New York Central, the Pennsylvania Railroad is one of my favorites as they own the railroad which I see often, the Long Island Railroad, and that they have a certain level of exquisiteness, uniqueness, and class. This is the case as they apply this to almost every aspect of the railroad with their grand stations, such as Penn Station in New York City, their world-renowned services, such as the Broadway Limited, their successful locomotives, including the GG1 and the K4, and streamlined doodlebugs. You heard me right, streamlined doodlebugs. This is one of the examples of how the Pensy brought their unique level of quality right down to the branch lines throughout their system. Ever since the beginning of railroading, branch lines and passenger routes were ran by seam locomotives and at least one coach, sometimes for freight cars known as a mixed train. As time went on, however, especially beginning in the early 1900s, railroads ordered self-propelled rail cars which could carry an appropriate amount of passengers and freight if necessary, while freeing up needed locomotives and passenger cars to serve busier main lines. With increasing orders of self-propelled rail cars efficiently serving the branch lines in the nation, the Pennsylvania Rail was no exception to this trend as the Pensy quickly ordered rail cars, also known as doodlebugs, to serve the branch lines across their expansive system. Certain doodlebug manufacturers at the time included McKean Motor Car Company, Brill, and EMC, who later worked with the Pullman Coach Company to produce them. The one which this episode will be focusing on is number 4663. This doodlebug was one of two built by Westinghouse in 1929 with a car body from the Pullman Car Company along with its sister rail car, 4664. They were classified as a PRR Class OEW330, with the OE standing for Oil Electric, W standing for Westinghouse, and the 330 standing for 330 horsepower. 4663 and its sister served the Pensy on nearly countless branch lines at the time, especially on the Logansport to South Bend, Indiana branch on train numbers 316 and 319. These two doodlebugs served the Pensy very well for a decade until 1941, when an accident involving Doodlebug 4648 in Ohio a year prior led to the rebuild of all of these rail cars on the Pensy from gas engines to diesel engines. Before this conversion from gas to diesel, the shop workers of the Pensy saw potential in this rail car as they modified 4663 into something in the likes which the world has never seen. After a rebuild of this rail car, it came out streamlined, an honor only given to mainline express locomotives at the time as it was the only doodlebug that the Pensy roster which was streamlined, and one of the few streamlined doodlebugs in the world. It was later refitted with a Hamilton 68 SA engine in 1944, and continued to serve the branch lines of the system to passengers with the new shovel nose design on its front, although the B end of the rail car remained unstreamlined. The rail car was then spotted a few years later with safety stripes on the front on the Grand Rapids to Muscle Gun Local, as it tended to stay within the Michigan region in its streamlined form. However, starting at the end of World War II, right when the Pensy and other railroads expected an increase in passenger service, most Americans wanted to drive off to suburbia in their new car, as passenger train service started a decades-long decline which ruined the railroads of America, and was further injured by the construction of highways across the nation which drained passenger trains to their passengers. This had an especially devastating effect on the small branch lines of the nation, as it was more convenient at the time to buy a car to go from town to town rather than a doodlebug causing countless branch lines to shut down. As there was little to no service left for this doodlebug and nurse of its kind, 4663 was scrapped in 1954, ironically the same year when the auto industry started to take off with the signing of the Interstate Highway Act. Thankfully, its memory is still kept alive through the use of photographs of 4663 in its original and streamlined form, as well as the construction of a custom-built G-gauge model, a custom brass N-gauge model with its streamlined livery, round with the yellow stripe, and fully brass, an O-gauge MTH model 4663 in its unstreamlined form with its streamlined delivery, and the preservation of other unstreamlined Pensy doodlebugs to show how life usually was on the branch lines of the Pennsylvania Railroad. Thank you all for watching this episode of Remarkable Engines. This series does not necessarily go over locomotives which are famous from railroading, or all the engines in one railroad, but rather specific underrated engines which this series brings more light upon, and 4663 is no exception, as it is the only streamlined doodlebug rostered on my favorite foam flag railroad. Not to mention, the concept of a streamlined doodlebug is a bit of a paradox, as streamlining is a technique used in order to achieve speed for famous passenger trains on busy mainlines, 
instead of short, little-known branch lines of the same rarity. With the use of an exquisite technique on an unsuspecting doodlebug shows how this rarity brings its standard of quality to all aspects of its system, even to its smallest branch lines. Thank you again for watching. Credit for all the photos used go to their respective photographers, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Have a good day.